Hey you guys, Bites Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Tutorial Series and in today's episode we're going to be continuing off where we left in the uh, the last video uh, with landscapes inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to import your own height map into Unreal Engine 4. Now m most of you probably aren't going to know what a height map is but it's essentially a texture which tells the engine how to generate a terrain. So if you look at this little image I've got here, you've got the flat uh, black bits being the bottom of the terrain that's going to be completely flat and then you've got the mountains going to be uh, in a lighter color. So basically the higher you are, the lighter the color and the texture, the lower, the darker it gets. So let me just get rid of this little seabed I've got real quick. And if I go and go for a quick top down view here on my terrain that I've created using this height map you can see we got this square bit around the edge of the uh, around the, around the edge of a little island bit that I've got going on here and then we got all the little erosion lines which are lower than the mountains so they're in a darker color and then you got this one big peak over there in the top uh, left hand corner here which you can see on the image and you know it really does capture that in a hell of a lot of detail I mean look at this it's absolutely stunning obviously if you were to go and paint this it would look even better but today I'm just going to be showing you how to actually bring one of these height maps inside of Unreal Engine so if you don't have a height map just remember uh, I'm going to put the link for this one in the description just so you can play around with it. Also you can all, uh, just type in like height map into Google get some off there or there is actually some pretty cool software you can download for generating height maps um, like Worldbox and a few others just play around with it. So you know you got a couple on here and once again just like I showed you in the image if you take a look at this picture of the United Kingdom anyone that lives here or is familiar with it you'll know Scotland has got lots of hills mountains and whatnot and you can see those in the lighter colors same for Wales lots of hills over there and then towards like London some of these areas it's relatively low down and uh, flat so let's just close out of that you should know pretty much what a height map is now also try and keep the texture resolution of a height map relatively high uh, like 2048 by 2048 so it can capture all the detail that you really need in your terrain especially if you're going for something realistic so let's go ahead and close that and I'm gonna create a brand new level I'm gonna go to new level default don't save and just gonna leave that so let's zoom out a bit here and go over to the landscape editor once again now by default you should have create new selected just go ahead and choose import from file over here on the right hand side and then just press the little dots here in the little white button click it move over to find your height map wherever you saved it to if you're downloading it from the link in the description it'd be in your downloads folder or whatever but here we are so I'm just gonna double click height map and that's it and then you can see a basic wireframe view of what this is gonna look like now obviously if you wanted to add more detail you can just by playing around with some of the basic uh, settings that you've got down here I explained some of these in the previous video obviously if you want more detail you're gonna turn up the the resolution you're gonna turn up the amount number of quads and so on and so forth you can also play around with the location rotation and scale once again but for me I think the scale is gonna be okay Actually, let's just go and make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to change this to 50. 50. And when you're doing terrains, you really, really should be doing it in uniform. Because you can see now, I've set it to 50 on the uh, X and Y axes, but not the Z axes. And you can see it now just sort of spikes up like this. So just try and keep it uniform. So, uh, you know, same scale all the way around. And uh, it will come out the best it possibly can. So let's just go ahead and press import and uh, it should bring it in just like that and obviously you're going to want to uh, use a material um, you're going to have to create your own material which I'll be showing you how to do in one of the later videos uh, but yeah that's pretty much everything for bringing in a height map it's incredibly simple and allows you to get some really stunning uh, results if you have a nice height map so let's just jump in here and take a look at this it's actually really really nice um, obviously if you go and build your lighting it's going to look a lot better and also with height maps even though you're generating it from a pre-made texture you can also go ahead and uh, sculpt onto this so let's just go over to the sculpt tool 
And let's just bring up uh, the ground up here a little bit. Let's make a few little basic mountains and whatnot. And uh, it just shows you that we have complete power with height map. Just the same as creating your own. But height maps give you, you know, a really nice uh, starting point, really. So try playing around with it. See what you can do. And uh, I hope you subscribe. Check out the next video. Bye.